We begin tonight hearing from a witness in a school zone crash that killed a seven-year-old IPS student. Good evening to you. I'm Alexis Rogers. Jennifer Sanchez, thank you for joining us tonight. We're also learning of new charges and new information in that case. Police say road rage is what caused that crash. News 8's Demi Johnson joining us now. And Demi, you talked to the witness. Yeah, Julie Patterson tells me her life is forever changed. She says being so close to what happened was horrifying, and she's left wondering why she's alive and the seven-year-old isn't. To most, it's a tragic memory. It comes out of you so fast that you know, I mean, you can't do anything. And so, um, but it didn't. It's, it, it changed directions, and it didn't hit me. To Julie Patterson, it's an everyday reminder of how precious life is. Terrible survivor skilled over that. I mean, a, a, a precious seven-year-old girl with her whole life ahead of her and you know here am I on the afternoon of September 14th Patterson met her friend in Irvington to go on a run we were um, running down Ritter to come over here to Ellenberger Park for a run and it was four o'clock and school was letting out and um, there's a crossing guard lights were red it was pretty obvious he said let's go uh, it was mom two daughters me and my friend and uh, we went across Patterson says what happened next isn't easy to explain. People were yelling at each other and um, and people were such in a hurry to get through that intersection to get wherever they had to be and there were people laying in the road. It was, hor it was horrific. Police say two cars came through the intersection. One hit and killed seven-year-old Hannah Crutchfield. Crutchfield's mom and a crossing guard were also injured. Now, 21-year-old Terrell King faces charges for reckless homicide and criminal recklessness. So does a 17-year-old girl. She faces various charges for operating while intoxicated. Court documents show the girl had THC in her system. Prosecutors say King was chasing the teen after she cut him off. That's when the teen swerved around another car, ran a red light, and hit an SUV. Investigators say the SUV hit the three victims. I'm glad that her sister was a few steps ahead and my friend was a few steps ahead, so they didn't actually, they saw the aftermath. Um, but I saw it all and it was, it was horrific. Even in her distress, Patterson says somehow she was able to find strength and stay with Hannah Crutchfield's sister. I feel like I don't know. I was a little bit of her guardian angel for an hour and a half when we couldn't get a hold of dad and all that. And I just didn't know what else to do. You don't know what to do in the moment, but I just stayed with her. She can't escape the thoughts of the devastating day and says she can only hope sharing them with others will save someone's life. You know, there's so many people on Washington Street going so fast. Is this because of, you know, the work on the interstate, you know, when the North split? Um, that particular intersection is just seems like it's always ripe for um, problems. Uh, and boy, that day it was. The Marion County prosecutor wants to try the teen driver as an adult. IMPD says the other driver, Terrell King, has not yet been arrested. Live in studio, Demi Johnson, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.